There we are looking at the Korean airliner. It's going to take us to Seoul today from Shenyang. Looks like it's in dandy shape and well maintained. Looks like they're loading up the meals actually back there. This looks pretty good. And right here of course is Father. Getting ready for his first trip into Seoul. The DMZ and all that it entails. Okay, I got a math problem for you, Don. And now he has a math problem for me okay. to kill my vlog. Great Us? job. To fly there is going to. Well, I've truly lived the dream here, here at a Costco here in Korea. Never done that before in Asia. Only a one hour plane ride from China. That's right, one hour plane ride from China can get you into a Costco. How fantastic is that? This is unreal. They've been taking the carts from across the street. Look at this. This is living right here. This is the life. Look at all this, guys. All of this. Unbelievable. Man, that's, look at that real piece of guy. Traffic as far as I can see, and there's no honking going on. There's no honking. Look at this. No honking. Everybody's behaving in an orderly fashion. They are civilized. Civilized, civilized, civilized. You know you're no longer in China when the uh, they force all the smokers to go to a little booth outside the stadium like this. It's amazing. In China, they just light up inside. How's it feel to watch your first dome baseball game? My first dome baseball game. Yes, that'll be something here in Korea. Yeah, you gotta come to Korea to get the dome game. Big building, big. Thank you. Thank you.
you want to get on the train? What do I think? I sure do. <laughs> you do? Yeah. You don't think it's too crowded? No. <laughs> Nothing's going to go wrong? No, we'll, we'll get on that train and go. Alright, let's see. It's fun here to see if you can get on this train now. Oh, I think it's coming in for seats. He's practiced stuff on the Shenyang subway. It's a forearm shiver. Here he goes. Looks good. Yeah, he'll get in. He'll make it. So, is it hot enough for you today? Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. All right, well, look look where we have arrived. American breakfast. Travel maker. Yeah, what do you think? I've done it again. Hopefully they can see this. Look at that, huh? About 25. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. What do you think of this here? You haven't seen a breakfast like this that since you... absolutely fantastic. Since you, yeah, you since you left Freedom here three weeks ago, you haven't seen a breakfast like this, have you? Not really. Man, oh man. Have a nice little place. Yeah. A little bit trendy. So, what do you think of the American breakfast here? Very good. Very good. Does it meet the standard? Pretty good after three weeks. So, where are we going here? We're gonna go to Gondek. Very good. Okay. Gondek. Then from there, where are we gonna go? Get on the orange line and go down two stops and get off there. Okay. And Camp Kim is right there, 300 meters to the north. See? We've got it. We're just waiting for this thing to come here. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why we're going really down here. You getting a little concerned? <laughs> yeah. Where, where, where's the train? Where's everybody else? There it is, the USO. The home away from home. You can see the northern part of Korea right there. And then the people trying to push it back together with the southern part. Really neat stuff. This is at the third tunnel. Well, looks like the clean plate is a verdict that the uh, Korean meal here on the DMC was a success. You liked it? Mm -hmm. Happy with it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now you didn't touch the seaweed here now. Still a clean plate. Still a clean plate? All right. I just had a Pepsi here. That's about as Korean as I could handle today, especially with Outback on the horizon. It's interesting here. The only thing around here is just like tour buses. It's not like there's like anybody out for a picnic. Yeah, you don't have your population, 
It's just really, really crazy stuff. It's like a ghost. It's ominous is what I think the word to describe it. Eerie. Surreal. You sense there's trouble close by by the emptiness. Nation Command, UNC, while the gray and silver buildings belong to the KPA, North Korea. That tall blue structure you see to your right is the JDO for the Joint Duty Officer Building. The JDO is currently a U.S. Naval officer who serves as an official representative of the United Nations Command and Military Armistice Commission, where he conducts official communications between the UNC and the KPA. <clears throat> Across from that tall blue structure, you see a three-story tent tower. That is KPA Guard Post Number Two but we are also being currently monitored at this time. Once again, please not point, wave, or make any gestures toward them in any manner. Use this building whenever they have any type of talks between high-ranking individuals and wants to place 10 to 20 armed soldiers inside this building. When the soldiers are inside this building, they tend to pull back the curtains, point, wave, and make derogatory gestures, such as a curtain slashing gesture. B3 is used by the JDO for colonel level and stop officer level talks. T2, where I'll give you a separate brief. T2 is your United Nations Supervisory Committee, where they hold a weekly meeting there. And that building all the way to your left was once used by the Czech and Polish, but it's actually no longer in commission. Behind Coppert's Row is North Korea's Visitor Welcome Center, the Pan Moon Gap. It also serves as a two-man guard post. If you look at the third story of this building, you'll notice that it's different from the rest. This is because in 1994, they reconstructed the Pan Moon Gap to stand taller than the original Freedom House that stood behind you. Once again, you may take pictures. If you have any questions during this time, just feel free to ask. I was in this area, we can actually. Now, we can actually hear this propaganda village down in Camp Bonifus, but we do block up the propaganda with our own Korean fight song. They play approximately five of them. There is. Um, once again, uh, this does conclude my briefing within this area. You can always ask me more questions about the SAO. So at the moment, I'm open to any questions, and as well as the private Arab, she's open to questions. So does anybody have any questions for us? Buildings on both sides. Make sure it's facing towards the north. Oh no! Please do not take any pictures facing out the door towards the Freedom House. Thank you. There is North Korea. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, one more minute within this building. This is incredible. He's going ahead and forming two single file lines facing the road. People getting their pictures here with the uh, 
Pretty amazing here. I'm, I'm in North Korea there. There's the line. I'm in North Korea. And Dad is, he's barely in North Korea. This is incredible. These guys are intimidating. That's amazing. The bread. Oh, that's, that's delicious. Yeah? You would love it. It's absolutely the best. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. You need to get on that one. Uh, 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 look, look, look what we got here, here. Uh, yeah, yes, that's me. That's me. This white place very, very hot. Okay. Wow, it sizzles in here. Older baked potato, just yeah. butter, right? Yeah, only butter. Wow, that's how you do it. Can you hear it, Oh my. American baseball. How great is that? American baseball in the Seoul Airport. Fantastic. Here we are today in Korea's Seoul uh, Incheon Airport. Looking really beautiful. Lots of sunshine and beautiful planes flying all over Asia and the world.